What's up guys, Larry here. And it is a really good day today because it's fucking arm day today. Uh, so I really placed a premium on building a nice set of arms without a huge increase in body weight. So how do we do that? We're gonna stick with compound exercises and some machines. Uh, we're not gonna really dip low into the reps. Uh, we're going to keep the volume up, we're going to keep it quick, we're going to keep it intense. So the base of the program is coming from Shogun. Uh, if you have not ordered that yet, I encourage you all to order it. It's a program that I've designed uh, to help elicit the gains of hypertrophy, if you will. And I'm going to add a little bit of razzle-dazzle to it today. Uh, basically a little bit extra because in the program, you have a push day with triceps, a pull day with biceps, and then you have an arm day itself. The arm day itself is relatively low volume to help you recover as you're training leg arms twice a week. The thing is that I need a little bit more. We're gonna push up the volume today. So let's get down. We're gonna work really hard. We're gonna fill the sleeves out. We're gonna build a nice set of arms, especially if you're a dad, because sometimes you gotta fold a motherfucker, uh, try to roll up on you. So let's get it done. Nice Sunday night workout today, boy. We're gonna get it in. All right, <clears throat> starting off with uh, some rope press downs. And with these, I'm turning the rope out at the bottom. Shoulder was kind of bothering me today. So, or Sunday rather when this was filmed. Uh, so I wasn't able to put as much uh, force into it as I would have liked. Would have actually liked to go a little bit heavier, but Again, as the video progresses, you'll see how I adjusted to uh, make sure I still got a good workout in and got some good workout volume from arm, arms. Uh, key thing with rope press downs, you see the angle that my body is at? Instead of just cozying up closer to the rope, I kind of angle my body away from it and just press down. And for me, this makes sure that I use 100% of the triceps. I'm not using a whole lot of momentum or anything like that. So keep in mind that your body angle does play a role when you're doing this exercise. It can play a tremendous role. Moving on, we're going to a close grip bench press variation. So basically what I did with this is I got into an old school uh, machine press. I took a neutral grip lat pull down bar and just basically took uh, inside shoulder with grip and boom, there you go. Uh, close grip bench press. So with these, uh, with the grip so close and it being a pressing movement, my shoulders started to feel like hell. So what I did is I stayed with the same exercise, but instead of staying with a grip that was inside my shoulder width, I just went ahead and got a got the neutral grip and it worked just as well. It's almost like a Swiss bar as a matter of fact, uh, you know, just taking a little bit wider grip, um, but still hammered the triceps and went ahead and tried to focus on the eccentric as much as possible. Uh, again, my shoulder was kind of funky, uh, and this is a, this is a heavy machine. Don't let that weight deceive you. That is that is a heavy old school uh, single pulley machine, so yeah, it's got some heft to it. Uh, but if you guys are having shoulder issues like I was, and you don't the thought of going into a Smith machine or a free weight close grip bench uh, annoys you, if you have a machine similar to this, you could do that same exercise. Um, moving on, tricep dips. So with the arsenal strength, it's, this is almost a pretty unique machine in that it's a combination of, uh, I guess I want to say, seated extension and tricep press. So I tried to make sure that I got that full range of motion because I wanted that stretch at the top. Uh, for me, this wasn't necessarily a... Uh, a uh, just a contraction exercise. So again, with tricep dips, if you can focus on the stretch at the top and kind of angle your body to a way uh, where you can feel that stretch in the tricep, you'll get a little bit of shoulder in there when you're trying to get that stretch, but that really feels good on the tricep when you try to angle your body and get it that way. Uh, moving on, we got uh, cross body tricep extensions. As you can see, the tricep is popping a little bit. That's vascular by VHI Fit if you're interested uh, in a pump formula. Um, so I did my first set with grenade balls, but that didn't feel all that great to me. So I went ahead and just ditched them the next set and went ahead and went with uh, the straight cables. 
So with this, I probably should have warmed up on this more so than tricep press downs. Uh, this didn't make my shoulder feel like hell. Uh, it didn't do anything to knock it out of whack. Um, it just felt really good and it was a really good uh, contraction exercise. So really push up the reps on something like this, right? So instead of 10 to 12, you want to do 15 to 20. Um, you want to keep the rest periods low. You do. You want to keep them low in a arm workout in general, but especially with an exercise like this, uh, where you know tension, mechanical tension comes into play. You definitely want to milk that for all it's worth. So again, when you're doing something like this, you want to really jack up the reps, really jack up the volume, put the mind in the muscle, get a good contraction, and then just keep it moving. This is probably one of the most underrated exercises out there, but it's also kind of butchered. So you want to make sure that you're hitting the tricep 100% uh, for this exercise. Moving on, this is the seated Cybex tricep extension. Again, focusing on the stretch, making sure that I'm getting a really good one. Uh, nothing fancy here. It was only about three sets of about 10 to 12 reps. Uh, this put my shoulder in a bit of a vulnerable position, so I probably did one sets too many. But I wanted to make sure that I rounded out my tricep work uh, with a pretty decent amount of volume. Uh, triceps can handle that. Uh, arms in general can handle that. And I feel that when we don't really push up the volume, we're kind of... You can make an argument for saying, yeah, we're not overtraining our arms, but also we're not really pushing uh, for extreme growth in our arms. And... You know, I was talking with a friend and we came to the conclusion and I've, I've kind of known it for a while. If you can grow, if you can grow off one to two sets, if you can get into that mental capacity to be able to do one to two sets, then you are the genetic outlier. I really don't care what anyone says. Most of us need volume. I know I need volume and volume is really the only way that my arms grow. I've tried the two set method. I've tried the main set to failure method and it, it just doesn't work for me. So I'm not even going to waste my time with it anymore. All right, uh, so the program called for a couple of different things. Barbell curls to start off, then some cable curls. Uh, I had to call an audible because my shoulder is feeling real funny on that uh, close grip bench press variation that I did. I really felt it. Uh, and I had had an issue with it yesterday, um, but it's just, it's just really kind of screwed up today. So we're gonna start off with some hammer curls, hammer strength uh, preacher curls. Uh, we're not gonna do the dumbbell preacher curls. We're gonna do this. Then we're gonna do the uh, some barbell curls, and then we're gonna move on to some cable curls. Uh, but we're gonna keep working hard. We're gonna get a good amount of volume in. We're gonna really pump them up, and uh, we're not gonna train them super super heavy. But we're gonna make sure that we emphasize the eccentric. Uh, get a good get a good tempo going. Good mind muscle connection and work from there. So let's get to it. All right, now time to the fun part of the workout, the biceps. So starting out with some machine curls and went ahead and instead of going with the prime machine, I just wanted to go with the old school standby and that's the seated hammer strength preacher curl. This program did call for preacher curls on with dumbbells. Uh, I went ahead and just forego that. That's not something that I wanted to do that day. So with that being said, I feel like I got a much better mind muscle connection, much better uh, contraction with the preacher curl and made sure to just really focus on the squeeze at the top. Uh, with bicep exercises, with arms, bicep exercises in particular, you don't need a ton of weight. What you do need is that you need concentration, you need tension, you need volume. Um, and that's just the way that I think people should build arms. Um, I'm not sure as to why uh, people don't go ahead and, you know, just try to push up the volume a bit. But, you know, in my experience, uh, arms require volume. They recover fast. Um, and, you know, they're like your calves. You can train calves every other day. Uh, I would recommend you train arms every two to three days. But... A higher frequency can net you some of the gains that you're looking for in size and strength. Uh, with this, uh, we're going to move on to the barbell curl. And to be honest with you, I didn't go very heavy on these. Uh, 
and some days you shouldn't either. You, again, you should just focus on the repetition, the pace, uh, the contraction, and making sure that you're feeling every inch of the movement. Again, um, with barbells and dumbbells, the tension drops off at some point. So you want to make sure that the, the, the tension that you do have, you focus in and hone on it. And you just want to keep all that uh, to where you're to where you're just putting all the pressure on the muscle and you know you keep on moving at a decent pace to keep maintaining that pump now i'm not saying you can't sling around some heavy dumbbells or some heavy barbells from time to time but i want you to think about uh how important really is it to do all that in the grand scheme of things when we're talking arm building uh, you know metabolic work counts for arm building volume counts for arm building um and I, I, I contend if you're just doing two sets of an exercise and you're only doing three exercises, you're not doing enough. All right, cable curls. I won't spend too much time on these uh, as I did not have my cast handles. The main thing to remember is that you should probably do these for about around about 12 to 15 reps. Make sure you get a good contraction. And with these, I'm basically standing on a free motion platform and I'm really getting a good stretch. So if you have individual handles like that, don't shorten the stretch. Make sure that you get a really good stretch and lean forward or step forward to make sure that your elbows are almost behind your body as the negative happens. All right. If you learn anything, guys, let me know. Like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll keep bringing more content. Link for Showgun is in the bio. You have a great day.